So you have an idea. But now that you've built out your very first use case, you want to start exploring some of that additional capability that gets you started or continues on your Alteryx journey. Hey everyone, Chad Martin with Data Prep U once again here to help educate you on the Alteryx Designer platform, learning new things, learning more about that platform and some of the functionality and how you can be a better and more efficient person, uh, getting more uh, stuff knocked out in your day to day. Now, in today's video, what we're going to do is highlight five common use cases, three beginner and two advanced, or maybe even just more intermediate uses of Alteryx and, and where we see our customers really gravitate towards in knocking out some of those initial wins. So let's get started. Okay, use case number one. And this might seem like a no brainer, but we often notice our customers, they're really trying to think about so many complex different things, but the reality is simply connecting to data sources. Now, it's not that Alteryx actually provides additional connections um, or, or, or bypasses any sort of security. Alteryx connects to your data sources in, in many ways, the same way that other uh, platforms might through ODBC connection or OLADB uh, or just through a native input data tool. With that though, the idea is that you have one single input data tool that connects to all of the different data sources. So you have one place to begin. It's not having to learn different syntax nuances of SQL versus Oracle SQL uh, versus Snow SQL and Snowflake. It all begins with the exact same tool to connect to virtually any data source. Item number two is simple transformations. Just today, quite literally just today, I was working with a customer and they had a very simple use case. They actually had two. One was a little bit more advanced that actually got into some stuff that we're going to be talking about later on today. But the first one was more of a simple ETL type process. Now we normally don't recommend Alteryx for, um, for traditional ETL, where you're migrating uh, petabytes of data from one source to the next. That's not really the sweet spot. The sweet spot is more in line with what this particular student was doing, which they had a need to get a small amount of data or in some cases, even a larger amount of data uh, from one data source, perform some simple name changes, rearranging of columns and dumping it into another data source so their dashboard could actually have refreshed data. All right, so simple transformations. You do not have to have some massive, large use case in order to justify Alteryx. In fact, many smaller use cases have much more impact uh, for a much longer period of time. All right, for number three, I have simple preparation. So in number two, we actually talked about you know, a simple ETL type of process. But what we're talking about with that simple preparation is maybe bringing in multiple different types of data sources. Maybe you're going to union them together or join the equivalent of a VLOOKUP. That union would be stacking that data together. And then maybe you're performing a pivot or a cross tab. Those are relatively easy and extremely efficient things to do within the Alteryx designer platform. And there are just a handful of tools that actually give you that ability to do that with ease. Okay, so for number four, I actually have a little bit more of an intermediate to advanced level type of use case. And this is more uh, along that parsing uh, and preparation ability, but it's focused more on regular expression. So if you haven't heard the term regular expression, I encourage you to do a quick search on that reg X, reg X, R E G E X. Uh, what this is, is it is a pattern recognition scripting language. And I know that sounds a little crazy or a little weird or a little advanced, but it's actually relatively straightforward. In fact, we provide direct training on using regular expressions within Alteryx, and we've helped users not only understand what they actually are, but how they can use it. Now, regular expressions, as I had mentioned, are an advanced parsing script, uh, so to speak. But what this does is allow you to create very specific flags or items and say, I need to uh, maybe extract the text between the, the second instance of a decimal and the next caret that exists in our data. Something very, very specific. And what this will do is give you a much easier way of taking that data and creating a new calculated column or flagging a row based on a specific condition. But it is extremely powerful in being able to recognize specific patterns in your data to parse that data 
or flag that data uh, in different scenarios. Okay, so the fifth and final uh, use case that we see people get into very, very quickly, and I've been hearing a lot about this lately, and that is fuzzy matching. And you might think, what, what entirely, what exactly is fuzzy matching? It kind of is exactly how it sounds. It's the ability to take some values and match them up based off of more of their phonetic pronunciation of what they do or what they sound like. So for example, Chad, my first name, may never actually match to Martin, my last name, okay? But there may be other things like Martinez that may match to Martin very easily because they have very similar structures. All right, so, so based on how those actually are, are lined up, they could be considered a match. Now, fuzzy matching is very commonly used to try to say, hey, I've got a CRM over here, so customer relationship manager, full of company names that we actually work with. But then we have a, a massive list of prospects here from different webinars that we've done or different marketing events. And what we need to do is say, which of these people are already customers. Which of these people work for organizations that are already customers? But the problem is somebody might label something as Data Prep U, Data Prep U LLC, the Data Prep U. I don't know why they would do that because we've never had the in the name, but I've seen other people uh, reference that for, for whatever reason. But there may be multiple different variations of this with commas, with spaces, all one word that all exist in that same prospect database. And we need to be able to take that text and take that actual value and say, this Data Prep Prep U is the exact same as this data prep U. And that's how fuzzy matching actually works. Works. So it's not a direct join because it may not be an exact match, but it gives you the ability to link up different data sources or deduplicate maybe one single data source based on your uh, overall criteria. Okay, so let's recap just a little bit. So number one, is connecting to different data sources or one or more data sources. Number two, simple transformations. So you need to just make some simple manipulations for your data. Number three would be more advanced preparation. So getting more into, or I should say preparation, uh, blending, uh, those sorts of things. So uh, getting more into the cross tabs or pivoting that data around, joining multiple different data sources together in a variety of different ways. Number four is regular expression. So this is getting more into that advanced capability, but we see so many people have a need to actually be able to parse data or extract data based on patterns in that data. So something that you actually see. And then the final, uh, the final item that we're gonna mention today is fuzzy matching. Matching two different lists where maybe the words don't exactly match up, but they are close enough. And we just need to be able to set a threshold to say, data prep you comma LLC is the same thing as data prep you all one word over in another database. All right, so as always, we have some resources down below in the description. Please check those out. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe uh, a series of buttons as well as that bell if you would like to be notified of additional uh, resources as they become available. Now, finally, in that description, you will find uh, links to additional items that we actually provide. So our free training resources and recommendations that we have, as well as uh, uh, dataprepu.com and some of the additional capability and functionality that we need. Specifically, if you need a, an extra set of hands, uh, you can trust in us to come in and help you learn about that product, learn about the process that you're actually Actually building by way of an Alteryx workflow. Thanks everyone. Uh, once again, uh, Chad Martin with Data Prep U and we will see you next time.